Hello boys and girls, hi moms and dads, Miss Jo here. And today we're going to be creating some bubble art. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this project is some paint or food coloring if you have it. I chose to use paint and I'm gonna start with purple. I have purple paint. And I also have red paint, okay? So we have purple and red paint. Also, we have two containers in which we're gonna be adding our mixture in. Um, we need spoons as well, is what I have in here. And I'm gonna show you guys how to also do this bubble art without the round containers if you don't have them. We're gonna use our spoons. And we can't do bubble art without, what are those? Bubbles. We can't do bubble art without bubbles, right? Okay, so we have our paint, our containers, our spoons, our bowls, our bubbles, and last, we're gonna need some paper. Now you can choose to use whatever color paper you want. I'm choosing white so it allows the colors to shine through a little bit more. Okay, so let's get started. First, we're gonna add some color. I'm gonna put purple in here, just a tad bit. You see that? Our purple inside here, purple paint. And then, do you remember what color this is? <laughs> it's red. So I'm gonna use my red paint inside here. See? So I have red and purple paint. Now, I wanna take my bubbles and I wanna pour them inside. Now, you can use as much bubbles as you like. Um, if you want a little extra bubbly, you can use dish detergent. Uh, but I'm just gonna swirl mine around to see what consistency I like it. And if I need more bubbles, I'll add more bubbles. If I need more paint, I need more paint. But this looks good, right? And I'm gonna take my red one and we're gonna use our spoon. We're gonna mix that around. Come on, mix, 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 right? So now we have our little potion mixed all together. We're gonna need one more thing and that is a straw, let me get our straw. And that, I found our straw. Okay, what do you think we're gonna do with this straw? Can you guess? I don't know, use, use it to drink, but today we're gonna use it to blow. We're gonna blow our mixture that's with paint and bubbles to create a bubble formation, like a bubble volcano, right? Are you ready? Come on, blow your stuff. Ready? Oh, look at that! So, once you get this little bubble volcano here, you're gonna wanna take your paper, and we're gonna sit it right on top of that. You see what I did there? Look what happened, it gave us a bubble print. Okay, so you can do this as many times as you like to create as many prints as you like. I'm gonna do it one more, ready? That's a big one, right? And we're gonna take our paper again, I'm gonna sit it right on top. Do you see that, isn't that wonderful? Okay, now if we wanna add more color, we can take our red mixture and do the same blow in your straw create a bubble volcano oh no it's popping everywhere okay we're gonna sit that right on top and look at that red so we have red and purple bubble formations down here okay now you can do that as many times as you like to cover the whole paper or create bigger bubbles. And in the end, it should look something like this. Okay, so that's gonna be your bubble art. Now, I have one more way if you guys wanna get a little bit more messy. Uh, and if you don't have the bowl containers, you might wanna use a thicker plate. I'm gonna use a paper plate for now because I'm not gonna add as much bubbles and water. But if you have bigger plate and I'm gonna use our wand so if your bubbles come with the wand inside 
you guys can use the wand instead of the straw because I know some of you don't really know how to blow quite yet, okay? So moms and dads, if you wanna just allow them to enjoy this activity on their own, you can just hand them the wand and we're gonna make the same mixture. You can have the same mixture. And I'm gonna just take the red one and I'm gonna pour a little bit onto this plate. Of course, you might wanna use a foam plate because we don't want it seeping through and getting all messy on the table. So I pour that there and I'm gonna take my wand and I'm gonna stick it inside of the bubble mixture on the plate. And then I'm just gonna place it flatly onto my paper. Do you see that print I created? So you can do it that way as well, whichever way you enjoy. They both seem to be a bunch of fun, okay? And hopefully you guys can come out with your own beautiful bubble art, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. Miss you all, love you, bye-bye.